So, you decide to sell your soul to the devil. What is the return? I will tell you what the return is. Nothing. You will get nothing. Why? This is emotional and or spiritual math. This is what happens. There is an equation here. And the more you give, the more you get, and the more you take, the less you have. It's very strange. It's ironic. It's bizarre. It is indeed a paradox. Dynamics. How does this happen? Seven dynamics. One, you're born selfish. We are born selfish. Just look at a little baby. They are, God bless their sweet little souls, selfish. That's the way they're supposed to be. Secondly, we embrace our selfishness. There's a verse in the Bible that says, when I became a man, I put away childish things. Being selfish is okay if you're a little child. You're supposed to grow up, become, and learn to give. Sometimes this does not happen. Sometimes instead we embrace our selfishness. Thirdly, it grows. Being wrong, being uh, narcissistic is never satisfied. It grows and grows. I wrote a sermon back in the late 80s called The Blob that ate Pittsburgh. And what did this blob do? Well, he ate Pittsburgh, and guess what? He just got hungrier. That's the way uh, this dynamic works. The more you take, the more you need. The more you give, uh, paradoxically, the more, more joy you have. So we're born selfish. We embrace this. It grows. We justify it, obviously. Fifthly, it is all we see. We put our eyes on what we feel we need, and guess what? That's all we see. So we can't see the options. We can't see the other dynamics. We can't even see how this is screwing us up. And our wife leaves us, or our, our kids don't love us, and, and we don't know why. It's obviously their fault. My father would get mad at me if I opened the door the wrong way. My father was a rapist, and he had other qualities just as bad. This is something you should be uh, aware of. Self-righteousness grows. The more, the more dark and disturbed somebody is, this is a, uh, emotional math, the more self-righteous they become. Six, the equation erupts. It goes to a bad place. It goes to shit. It goes to hell. It inevitably will. But seven, we have the cover-up. What is the cover-up, you ask? Good question. The cover-up is attempting to make it look like this is not happening. People are dead. People are zombies. But they overcompensate by aesthetically, in a very generic way, attempt to look like everything is okay. It is not. It is far from okay. What we have to do in terms of emotional math is choose love. What does this mean? It means shine light upon our selfishness. The more light, the less selfishness. We have weapons in terms of getting rid of... Uh, our selfishness in terms of uh, perpetuating a healthy emotional math within our lives. Our weapons are communication. Our weapons are humility. Our weapons are passion and fearlessness. If we add these things to our lives, if we begin to talk pe to people honestly, things will come to the surface. And somebody will tell us that we are wrong if we have relationships, if we're attempting even to pursue good relationships. I conclude with this. Mr. Neil Young once said, it takes a friend to tell a friend they're pissing in the wind. Check your emotional math. Do the numbers. And then choose love. This is the Love Guru.